The brand is called Kadiatu Couture. I say that it's for uh, the women with cutting edge confidence. Hi, I'm Suzanne Tue. I'm Cardi's cousin. My job is to run Cardi's first boutique. Private Emporium is different from other boutiques in Sierra Leone because of our fabrics and the way we display our stuff in the boutique is different from other boutiques. So Vivid Emporium is kind of the boutique where you know you find things from all over. Well, I started going around Africa collecting pieces like jewelry. I go to Mali. I have a lot of Malians who come and bring things to me. I go to Ghana and look at African pieces and bring them. You know, because I still want to keep that idea of the boutique. And I thought, oh, let me make a few a few kind of pieces that I like, let me just put them. And I put them and on the, the opening night, they sold out. And then after that, people would come to me and they're like, you know, can they have this wedding or this party or this function to go to and I need you to make me a dress. And I'm looking at them like, I can't make dresses. <laughs> I'm not a designer, but you know, I'm in, I'll sit down and talk to them. I, you know, I'm like, what do you like? You like shoulders, sleeveless, you know? And I talk to them and based on what they tell me that they like, do you like things fitted, do you like short, do you like long dresses? Based on all that, I'll make a dress. And suddenly, what went round that there's a new designer in town. And then suddenly, a fashion show came up and I was asked to be one of the designers and, and I did and I was, I was all over the place and you know I closed the show and everyone was just like oh my god that's such a good collection I was like what are you guys talking about and um, yeah and that's how it all started I you know I became a, I became a designer. So they can just come and say come. Sometimes Caddy comes out. She said, Mohammed, I have a great idea for a design. When I understand it, that's what I make. Later, when it's finished, what I bring to her is exactly what she had imagined. The new collection is called Tamro. In the Tamro collection, you'll find some really um, stretchy, figure hugging things, you know, that are very sexy but very feminine and very classy. You'll find some, you'll find some really over-the-top gowns with big shoulders and you know you find um, you'll find some kind of see-through, you know, I've played with some see-through fabrics, you know, that are also very feminine and very sexy and you know very kind of out there in a way. Um, I mean I don't I don't have a specific thing that I work with. I just work with things that I like. So this is um, a very good guy I work with in terms of getting fabrics. I tell him what I, I want sometimes and uh, if, then, if he doesn't have them, he'll you know, look around for them and if he sees anything, he'll give me a call and I come get them. 90% of the stuff I use is um, African uh, prints. Knowing me, I like to expand a little bit beyond, you know, the African prints. I love them and I, I enjoy using them, of course. But there's, uh, sometimes I like to step out just a little bit and use different, you know, fabrics. My clothes are not what you would call simple. They're things that are definitely ready to wear. But like the, 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 the couture stuff that I do are very kind of vibrant and really edgy and really kind of out there. A lot of sexiness, <laughs> you know. Um, but my, my thing is confidence. You know, I, I, I want every woman, when you wear my clothes, to feel confidence. 
You know, I want you to walk into the room and command admiration. You know what I mean? Like that that is what I think about when I when I create any piece. You know, it's confidence. I want you to walk in and everyone just go, what the hell is she wearing? Good or bad, what is she wearing? The African fashion scene is definitely growing immensely. You know, within the last few years, it's just, we have de designers from all different countries and, you know, uh, I mean, it's, it, it's huge and I feel so lucky to be a part of it. And right now, you know, so many great and positive things are happening in Sierra Leone. We're going through a great transition and I just feel so blessed and so proud to be a part of branding Sierra Leone. Thank you.